Hi, the Magpie! Welcome to this crazy experiment that is the life-size toy piano that looks so cool and it also sounds really, really haunted because obviously I, I just, as you can see in the building, got rid of the dampers for the original piano strings but I saved all of the piano strings so all of the overtones are like crazy reverberation going on and like the genius part is that it's so easy to reverse as well you just get rid of this thing which you do super easily you can just lift this whole thing out and do other experiments is what i'm gonna do i don't know what to call it it's somewhat close to a celesta i, I guess but it's way more like a like bell Oof. And it's reverbing forever, and that is what the instrument is. It's not chromatically tuned at the moment, because it's really hard to tune it before you weld everything together. Huge shout out to my father-in-law for helping me with the welding. But we just went with different lengths on these tines, and we did it twice. So this goes up like two octaves. And then we have, have one more restarted octave. And then we have the original toy piano times here. Just for the... Yeah, because it's fun, I guess. Also less welding. <laughs> it took a while to do this. But yeah, to tune it, since there's so much overtones going on, it's still kind of hard to tell. Like, is this this note or is this another note? But yeah, you can go in and you can make them all a bit shorter. And if you have to, you can make them longer pretty easily as well. And you can experiment with uh, magnets to just add a bit of length to get a darker note. That's, yeah, that's the note. I get it though. It's 
still kind of hard to hear, but whoops, magnets on a camera. So then I need to add, and you experiment with the magnet, and then you just weld as long as you need, I guess. I'm of course going to try to make a sample pack, but it's gonna take a while to do it. I'm gonna do it in, at this stage. I'm also gonna do it with thumbtacks, I think. You just add these to the hammers, because with the original piano hammers, it sounds really soft. But if I add a thumbtack, like this, Not sure if I like it or not, but maybe. I'm also going to try and tune it uh, to be how it's supposed to be, chromatically. But yeah, since I have a bunch of other really cool piano experiments lined up for the future, it's so nice that I can take this out, do other experiments, and then when, whenever I feel like recording this instrument, you just add this metallic, crazy harp to it. And you can play like this as well. But I'd say just jumping straight in and making music with it, that's where it's at, right? That's what we want to do. Save a couple of piano strings at the very end, the very bassiest, just because that's fun. Also with all of the overtones, one note can fit into a lot more whatevers the <laughs> overtones line up, like the reverberation from the piano strings. I don't know, it's like musical science. I actually don't really know what I'm talking about. All I know is that it sounds cool and uh, putting it in a musical context it is gonna be really nice to do. Uh, just micing it up with a Zoom H6 because I don't know, I don't have any proper mics. <laughs> You can do so cool things uh, that is so out there and really artsy. Wow. We just have an original piano, tuned even. Okay, nice. I 
like it. Very cool, very cool. I also have this invention of mine, which is a magnetic contact microphone that I designed and 3D printed now. Because I'm an inventor, in case you didn't know. So it's a contact mic, uh, but the USB is that it's magnetic and it's actually really convenient for recording a lot of things. I actually really like that. Would probably be possible to just put piezos on it. And then your piano has an output. Not every <laughs> piano has an output. You do it stereo as well, so you do one on each side. Stereo jacket. <laughs> Not a bad idea. How about we start fresh? Completely fresh. I like to have some drums. To begin with, pick a thing, pick a thing, pick a thing, pick a thing. Let's go. <sighs> Casio. Does not fit the mood whatsoever. Well, that might be nice. <laughs> Who am I to say? This is what we have now. <laughs> So just <laughs> two takes, but they are a bit out of uh, sync. <laughs> and I really like it, because it becomes like a delay effect. But I really didn't do much with the piano. But I mean, it's a good, happy start here. But I feel like since it, it's got so many different types of possibilities, uh, it's actually kind of hard to not just do a tiny thing and turn that into what's the entire production. But let's do solo performance, maybe to show you the spectrum of what's possible. Uh, very artsy.
Shining, it's time to 